Woo! Four fracturing shards. Big money. Ooh, a whole ancient arm and a whole annulment. Uh, yeah. Just give them the juice. One in Rome. Okay, so there. Let's make sure this is the right one. This should be 15, 25, 10, 30. And 1, 2, 3, 4. 15, 25, 10, 30, 25. Yep, all right, that is the correct one. There's one Ventors down. Okay, this is Croca something. Crocodiller? What a great name. Crocodiller. It's buying my four fracturing shards for 100 C each. It's just the price of the fracturing orbs and trade is fucking crazy, but you know. Here we are. One, two, three, four. That's, yeah, that's 400. All right. T for T, buddy. Greed's embrace. Now I'm buying my other Ventors here. Increased, increased, increased. All good. Thank you. Um, so I should have now two good Ventors. I, I don't really want to, I'm not sure what I'm doing yet, but either, no matter what I'm doing, as MFing with a Mage Blood, I'm going to be using Greed's embrace double Ventors and probably Gold Rooms. So I just want to get ones that have positive res. So overall, these have positive res. Now, ironically, everything here is negative lightning. A little annoying, but that's fine. Um, I still have some money to work with, so I'm not uh, not totally destitute, but I do have to keep buying and keep mapping, and then we'll kind of scheme out our plan. I mean, I might just end up playing Righteous Fire or something that has, like, super low... Um, impact and responsibility to actually you know kill things but I'm, I'm doing low tier maps it doesn't really fucking matter plus again mage blood just carries me and here's the last iq item perfect gold worms acquired 60 c all these perfect i mean that makes sense in trade i guess but like every perfect iq ir item you know like uh all this shit getting pretty much perfect or close to as perfect as you want to get it it's expensive. It's not cheap. I mean, you could just buy ones that are 2% off perfect and you save a bunch of money, but I don't really give a shit. Uh, for me, I'm just going to invest, you know. Um, next step, I think, is I want to get away. I want to get away. No, I'm just kidding. I gotta go back to mapping. Any more regrets? It's a lot of fucking jewelers. Did I get a map? I did. Good job, boner. Oh, here we go. Oh, that was fast. All right. So I've been uh, mapping now in uh, Crimson Temples. Just set my favorites to Crimson Temple. I figured, you know, what if we hit an Apothecary while I'm doing my basic rebuild for currency? Um, I have all these div cards here because I'm out of fucking room. So I'm about to give these away just to somebody for like a couple chisels. <laughs> I should, you would normally you'd sell them, but it's for me without having actual um, the, the, the tabs where I could sell things efficiently. I, I'm just like basically offering bulk okay div cards for like i don't know 10 to 1 fucking maybe 20 to 1 c to people just because it's like you know <laughs> i just need money um and i need a space basically anyway long story short i've picked my build um let me pull it up here i found a really cool magic find build now what i'm showing you here way out of our budget right if i liquidated the mage blood i could maybe afford some of these things one pass of voices are like a crab's dream in a fucking cage so not gonna happen but this is the basis of the build i found another guy doing it in a much more affordable variation it's a it's a chieftain so i can stay on class um i would just use a greed's embrace instead of he's using this uh fire cloak of flame uh, mage blood instead of that i could stay sedim is there i have the gold rooms there um i have to purchase a defiance of destiny a fulcrum and a bunch of tattoos that are kind of expensive so we're looking to probably get around four to six div before I make the transition. And uh, it's a Righteous Fire build that automates and reflects the explosion from Chieftain using Fulcrum to spread the Ignite. Um, so there's fun ways you could do that. So we basically want to stack Explosion and get ourselves at 90 fire res um, through the Warrior's uh, tail over here using a bunch of fun little methods to get fire res and then I just uh it's, it's like a walking simulator so it'll be really good for doing low tier maps and should be pretty nice for clearing for us and I could MF on it happily as 
as a marauder. So we're still in rebuild here. We're going to fund some stuff and purchase some things. And uh, whenever we do the big transition, we'll we'll start doing that. Uh-oh. Imagine. Hey, there we go. There's our first uh, Exarch invitation to drop from mapping. So we just ran roughly 20-something Crimson Temples. Um, I don't have on the thing that doubles the progress. 10% uh, chance. I don't really like it, to be honest, so I just didn't bother. But there is a incandescent uh, invitation, and what that represents for us is money. Um, there was a minor oversight, which I didn't realize how expensive the fulcrum was. I didn't know why it would be so expensive, because historically it's never been so expensive, but it is 35 divines for a fulcrum, and I'm currently sitting at maybe like, I don't know, five divines right here. So that's why I'm kind of doing Crimson Temples to fish for an apothecary. But it's fine because I still get currency and I'm still leveling and that sort of stuff anyway. So I'm just going to do a, maybe another level or two in Crimson Temples, get to like 96, 97. And then we'll reassess there if I have to maybe change builds or maybe we sell the Mage Blood and uh, buy, the, you know, buy the Fulcrum and all that other stuff. I just have to figure out how to sell an item. So I don't know how to do that right now without having premium tabs. But I'm looking on the website uh, and it looks like I'm allowed to, uh, it, it searches through the listeds for forums as well. So I have to sell the um, mage blood on the forum. I just don't know how to do that per se. Last time I did this was probably eight years ago. Trading forum, want to sell mage blood I don't know how much, how much they cost again. All right, corrupt, non-corrupted four flask. We're going to go, we'll say 300 and, I don't know, 25 divines. 3, 325 divines. I don't remember how to link items to this thing, but I thought there was some way to do it by clicking on my character and clicking on the item. It does do that. Okay, cool. There we go. Okay, so it should be listed now. Um, so whenever somebody messages me, I could sell it. And then we'll be, we should be okay. I think it takes five minutes for it to pop up here. I could probably get more for it. I just kind of, obviously we just want to sell it because I want to get magic finding going. So I can, <laughs> so I guess I can find another mage blood or some other tier zero unique. It's been over five minutes. I'm still not even popping up on the website. This poor guy listed for 330 chaos by accident. He's about to <laughs> just get a fucking whirlwind of DMs, I imagine. I guess I'm just going to leave myself logged in with like an AFK auto reply that I'm eating lunch and I'll be back to trade. And we'll see if somebody messages me about the mage blood. All right, I've come back for lunch. I no 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 messages on either of my forum posts in the shop or selling. My post, my thing is still not showing up here. Uh, <laughs> even though I'm selling it for cheaper than these guys. So my mage blood's not showing up. Um, I have this party open even that just says want to sell mage blood on the thing. I think I might even just post in trade chat. Like I'm not getting, I'm, well, I am getting desperate. I just don't know, you know, how else to, to sell things here. I could just do that. I could just write want to sell, I could do it in trade and see if people respond. So the way that it works, allegedly, you two could both tell me your experiences with this. But if you click the About section on PoE's trade website, so the website allows for you to search through items listed for sale in shop forums, as well as those listed using public premium stash tabs. Now, the yeah. account I'm on for this series that you guys don't know about, it doesn't have premium <laughs> tabs. You've heard murmur. It doesn't, doesn't have premium tabs. I have basic tabs. So yeah. The only way I could sell the item in question is by listing it in a shop tab. So I have, I have it listed on the Ancestor League shop and the Ancestor League sell. Uh, it's verified, the link, so it shows the item, but it doesn't pop up ever. Can you search for it? Yeah, it's been it's been like uh, over an hour now. Type in my account. What do you mean? Uh, I'll have to look on the trade website, you mean? You could like search yeah, by yeah, a yeah. person? Yeah, yeah, you can search by a person. Oh, okay. All right, hold on, hold on. So by default search filters, it doesn't show up when you search your account name. Then see, it, see, no, it says no results there. So you might not have a fi if you there's a section where it's like fixed the buyout price or whatever. I careful list of syntax. Oh, I see them. No, I do have it. I ha I should have it right. Oh, hold on. Never mind. There. I don't know if this information's new or old. This is so fucked. All right, I think I found. I think I found it. Okay, it's working now. Yes. 
Yes, we got it now. All right, all right. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I'm gonna. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's definitely working. I'm getting flooded with DMs. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, all right. Hold on. Uh, what was the item? I can't tell you. I'll be back. Okay. This guy was technically first. Three hundred and twenty divines. Fifty. One hundred. One hundred and fifty. Two hundred. Two hundred and fifty. Three hundred. Three hundred and twenty divines. Yep. All right. Enjoy. There you go, buddy. I have 320 divines now. All right. So we've, we've sold our mage blood. I now want to uh, purchase the stuff I'm missing for the builds. So we're going to go on a bit of a spending spree. So we'll check back when we're done spending. And then I'm going to emulate one of the MF builds we saw. Oh, no, no. I, I want to... I want to... Oh, I'm inside of a lady's ass. I am literally like looking at names for like Asian names. Just got oh, there we go, another Asian name. Something up with the regret market. They're like the top listing is 400. You have to go down to like it goes all the way down to 315. And that's where I got my first response. Like no one is actually there. They're hyperinflating regrets. I'm calling the cops. All right, I'm a chieftain now. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I was going to give the guy the change, but he didn't want it, so there you go. There's Unstoppable Flesh and Flame. How much is uh, half a divine again? I'm going to ask if he has change. It's funny, all these times I've been trading for things and asking for people to make change, I'm not really double-checking what they're doing as they're doing it, I'm kind of only checking it after the fact, and no one in my anonymity here has attempted to scam me yet, so that's at least a good sign. I feel like I've been sitting here trade-fiddling for, like, an hour, and it's just killing my... My mapping heart. I mean, I am plugging my points in. We're plugging points, baby. Enlighten, purifier, petrify. I don't have enlighten. Uh, no level four. I was hoping to get scammed there. Still no scam. You're on like hour three. I'm just sitting here buying, using tattoos, converting currency. It's crazy. Oh, another trade with a Russian on top of near Automa's fat asshole on the waypoint. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. I think this this might be the last purchase. All right, nine years later, I think I've finished purchasing and swapping everything over. Um, there's a couple things I still want to make amendments on, but I think for now this is kind of good enough. Um, I do want to pop out. Was it two void stones? Three void stones? Tier ten crimson temple. Okay. Um, so basically, the build is righteous fire as the baseline and then using something to trigger uh, you know on hit explosions I, I just have blade vortex is the one i picked so i have a awakened unleash set up with blade vortex and gem levels and it's also taking advantage of some of the damage from fulcrum which is kind of nice but basically the, tr the tree is set up to where you just walk around and i think things should just explode you're taking heavy advantage of the fact that you don't need stats from the supreme ostentation meaning you can allocate a large almost all of your tattoos to like in this case the explode tattoo and also taking advantage of chieftain with max fire as tattoos using the warrior's tail to get double tattoo effect uh giving me 90 all res yeah it's a lot of all res i know and also the uh defiance of destiny plus petrified blood gaining a chunk of the unreserved life before being hit by an enemy um, means I have a nice buffer of health. I think I could still get one shot, but I don't... I should be sufficiently tanky. Uh, I also have decent armor-ish from Determination, but it's not amazing. We're just doing the best we can there. And uh, IQIR, you know, from all the, the stuff there. So we're at like 93, rarity 53 quantity, so really nice quantity. I just have to go get a tier 10 map because I, I don't have any to get started on my uh, Crimson Templing. I will have to change my tree a little bit. Not a lot of it, just a little bit. But I want to kind of see how the build feels in the beginning because I don't know how lethal the world is going to be. Yeah, I just purchased a tier 9 racecourse from, from Kirik. That'll have to do for now. But I should be able to basically just walk around. And yeah, I also don't... My flasks aren't active. I have to get them to be active, but you can see how it looks as I walk. Things are just dying around me. Look at my life pool, though. It looks like it's kind of okay. I am very slow, but we're going to have our flasks be, like, triggering automatically. So we'll probably have my Quicksilver to do on full 
and uh, that sort of stuff. So I gotta redo my flasks, obviously. I see why people find this uh, this build attractive, huh? Gotta get ourselves a, a Crimson Temple to drop. A lot of them run Val Breach to help with single target. I might have to do the same. There's a Crimson Temple. Nice. Okay, I spent like a chunk of chaos and time crafting flasks. They're just all set to use one full. Should make my life a little less shit. Such a hard time. Crafting flasks in trade is... Or should say selling and purchasing flasks in trade. It's its own interesting economy that I think really would flourish or has been flourishing with the advent of mage blood, especially. I do have like 800 life regen a second, so when my life goes down, I get a little bit spooked, but I really shouldn't be, I guess. You know, I didn't even check, and this is something I should check. How much does a headhunter cost? If I could buy a headhunter, that would make this infinitely more enjoyable. And I bet you I actually probably am not too far off if I can. 100 divines. Well, that guy's probably bullshit, so we'll say 120-something divines. Headhunter, 129. All right, there we go. All right, let's see how this feels now with a headhunter. I imagine it's going to feel a lot better. We should reset up our atlas for, like, zooming tier 10 maps also. Give me a rare. There we go. All right. I'm headhuntering. It's happening. I'm already so fast. Feeling alive for the very first time. This is definitely a better experience. I think we're uh, on track now to actually start magic finding and get our real tier zero drop completing the series.